it is time for you to discover what art can do to you in a matter of well-being, social inclusion, and peace education. There are many things, there are policies, there are legislation, there are uh, investments to be done for social inclusion, uh, but arts is one of the most powerful tools we have to bring people together. The arts are not a drug. Uh, the, the arts are a way of interacting and, and, and coping and celebrating life. And an understanding that the theater is but one technique, one set of tools that might be used to help a community clarify their concerns and crystallize different options for action. Or The power of art, especially in my case with photography, is that by enlarging someone's face, uh, and especially by putting it in the street, Suddenly you regive confidence, so you regive a voice to people that usually don't have that voice. And in this struggle against the dictatorship, my father found out that it was not enough to do theater as he used to. Art therapy gives voice to that which does not have words. Um, so for me, art is therapy, um, and my really humble uh, goal in life is for everyone to taste um, the medicine of art. So, you know, I think you know, the arts, is, you all probably like to know better than me, uh, are really integral to helping us transform the way we perceive ourselves and others in the world around us. Um, and so we see art as really key in the emotional um, transformation. I've been privileged to uh, use the ambiguous role of the artists as a way to become an independent observer in conflicted landscapes. And this way of doing it has finally contributed to changing the music in the world. It was important for me to send a message of hope and kind of like trying to be together and focus on what we can be united and love and be kind to each other and not with everything else that um, making us apart. So we use art as a vehicle or a channel to, to express peace, really. For me this day, it's a remember of how uh, art nourishes uh, our humanity by expressing the beauty, emotion, and diversity uh, of the world. Because whatever your name means and whatever is in your name is also connected to your purpose. Be creative during on this day and go back and research your name and find out what is in that so you can find your purpose and walk in it. But for me, uh, art allows people to stand tall. And as you say, art, uh, peace need art. And we need, it's more than urgent now, very for the moment, it's very important. Um, and we, um, we believe that everyone has a story that's worth telling and worth listening to. When you face a politics that aspires to make you fearful, alienated and isolated, joy is a final initial act of insurrection. It's the most important nowadays to realize real health is wellness, which means I am feeling well. And my clothing is always used to heal the world and heal others. I'm, I'm hoping and expecting that our efforts um, will bring will bring us together in um, uh, achieving this revolution, and that research from our and my my bet in the puzzle can uh, make a useful contributions. And I think music is the best school for social harmony. You should always follow your dreams because if you follow your dreams, you will be happy and you will be inspiring others. Uh, a message to the world from, uh, from Marseille um, is that art is a beautiful language, a uh, universal language for, for dialogue. Uh, we have some time, so let's keep some room for art and make it as medicine. And so art is is a therapy, is a necessity, is an outlet outlet for self-exploration, um, self-change. You are just creating this ripple effect of goodness and positivity around the world that just as one person you can make great change. And the only thing I want to say is that please uh, stay with your dreams and never give up. And, and hopefully Gila, you can continue to shepherd and bring people along with these messages so we can do it together.